Let's take a look at uh, graphs of exponential functions on a T82 calculator. Now, um, this is um, my website. If you go to www.mathheels.com, you'll find a link. It currently says graphing calculators, but I'm thinking about changing that to graphing calculator slash technology. If you click that, then you can go into subject, and I'm slowly working my way down. I'm going to put different subjects in here. If you go to college algebra, then you'll find um, the, all the different videos for the different topics you can do in uh, college algebra. Now, um, I'm, again, I'm slowly making my way through all the different models of the calculator. Uh, the plan is when I have a student come in and they have a different model that I don't force them to go out and buy a new one if they can't afford it, that I'll have resource they can go to to get, uh, get help on that one. If you um, are struggling in math and want to see uh, full course lectures, uh, this math class information, I'll probably eventually change that to, to math lectures. But if you click that, you can go into College Algebra. And uh, here's the same lectures I give in the classroom or out here in YouTube format. So you can click those and you can watch those if you're struggling in math. Okay. Let's take a look at our first problem. And let me write it down. We've got y is equal e to the x minus 2 plus 3. And want to graph it. Well, on your calculator, anytime you have more than a single number or a single variable in your exponent, you have to put parentheses around it. So the, the trick to this is we need parentheses around the x minus 2. Now some calculators will automatically put that there for you and some won't. And to be honest, I, I'm learning myself, so we'll find out on T82 together. So press Y equals, press clear. You see above your LN, it says E to the X. So to get to that, I'm going to do second and then LN. That's actually a natural log, um, but students click better if I say LN. Notice it does not put a beginning parentheses, so we're going to do that. So we'll put a beginning parentheses, and then x minus 2, closing parentheses, and then I'm going to put my plus 3, and then graph. And that would be our, our graph. So it's something like that right there. Okay, let's look at our second problem. y is equal to 3, 3 to the x. Okay, so go back to y equals, press clear. I'll do my 3, and how we always do an exponent is with a caret. So I do caret, and then I'll put an x. Now, I did not have to put a parentheses around the exponent here because we just had a single variable. Remember, if you have more than a single number or a single variable in your exponent, that's when you have to put parentheses around it. And then I'll push graph. And that'll be my graph. Now, it looks like it just stops, but never just stops. It keeps going forever this way. It just got so close to the x-axis, it looks like it's one with it. Okay, let's look at our last example. We've got y is equal to 2 to the x plus 1 minus 4. And remember what I've been saying. If you got more than a single number or a single variable in your exponent, you have to put parentheses around it. So as we plug this one in, we have to put parentheses around the x plus 1. Other than that, we just type it in as we see it. So press Y equals, press clear. I'll do 2, caret, and then beginning parentheses, X plus 1, closing parentheses, minus 4. And then graph. And um, let me see, what's that look like? That's probably as good as I'm gonna be able to sketch it. You probably you're probably better than that uh, at home. <laughs> but um, that shows you how to graph exponential functions on a T82 uh, graphing calculator.